Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a declutter my wardrobe slash organization because this bad boy, as you can tell, is very compact. Um, so it's, yes, mummy's filming, Baba. No, they get the nature of the school. Sorry guys, I have little humans running around out there. Um, they don't come on this channel, but just so you know, they are out there with Elle. Um, and they're probably hearing me chat, so Darcy can open up doors. But anyway, as I was saying, this space is quite compact. It's got this shelf here, and then obviously this shelf here. Um, and there's space at the top of them, and then there's hangy space down here. I will give you a tour in just a second because I don't think I've ever done that since moving in of this fully with clothes. Um, there's a cupboard down here that I want to move out into the main la uh, main lounge room, main bedroom, and I pretty much want to kick Elliot's stuff out. <laughs> so we have four bedrooms in this house, and we've actually got an entire playroom with a cupboard that's not being used. So his stuff's just going to go down there. Uh, it's all of his work stuff, so he's actually working from home at the moment full time. So he's not been touching it for so long. I wouldn't be so cruel as to kick him out if it was daily use, but he's not using it at all. All of his other, all of his other stuff is in the other cupboards just in our room behind the bed. So today my hope is to declutter get rid of a ton of stuff. I will be both selling stuff on Depop. Um, I always have my link down below to my account. I am a size AU16 and a 1XL in like American terms. And I think that's pretty much everything. My foot size, cause I know I've got a pair of shoes that I'm selling um, is a size nine. So just for reference, in case you guys are interested in any pieces, the other stuff will all get donated. I'm actually in the hunt, in the hunt, on the hunt for a homeless shelter for women um, to be able to donate because I feel like plus size clothes are already hard to find in op shops. So I can only imagine what it would be like in a woman's shelter. So I'm gonna try and find that. If I can't find that, then I'll just donate to any charity. But um, there is a lot to get through. I do this at least once a month, have been continuously doing it, and my house is still a bomb site because I'm forever folding, washing, folding, washing, and there is so much clothes. There is so much. So we've got a lot to get through. I'm going to hurry up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. And of course, hit the video a thumbs up. It always supports me. And leave in comments as well. I always appreciate you guys, and I do try and get back to as many of you as possible. Right, let's give you the tour. <laughs> so... This is the mess on the floor. This is actually very little mess compared to normal, which is shameful, but at the same time, the truth. I have all of my long dresses, short dresses, skirts, jackets, and then that's all Elle's stuff behind here. So I'm planning on taking all of his stuff out, like I said, and then I'll probably put skirts and tops on this side, jackets in that corner where you can't really see, and then dresses and stuff there. There's probably going to be a lot of room left over, but I'm forever having to hang stuff up for uh, work that I do on my channels. So it'll be good to have a little bit of extra room to move. And then up here, it's got a lot of stuff that's L's again, so that'll all come out. And then this is all just my jumpers, which is ridiculous. I do not need this many jumpers and cardigans, so there's definitely going to be a few of those going for sale. I just don't need this many and I've already culled it twice this winter. Like what? What is my problem? It doesn't help that I have two new videos released every single week, most of the time which are hauls. So every single week I'm getting so much more stuff come in and not enough going out. So I went to Big W and bought some new storage containers. This is to house all of my stuff that I sell on Depop. I'll probably have a box that is, um, not yet listed and a box that is listed so that I can keep a track of which is which. And then the, oh yeah, I forgot to show you the um, little cupboard. We actually got three of these second hand for like a hundred dollars or something ridiculously crazy. So I'm actually going to bring it out and join it up to these ones and have it as a really long one there because I need the space for hanging in here. And then I'll move my shoe rack over this way. And then there's also clothes all on the bed, clothes all over here. It's just never ending. And then the other thing is shoes. I have a billion and one shoes. And again, this is cold. 
This is stuff that I have already culled on multiple occasions, but I still have too many for that rack. So to be fair, half of it is Elliot's. So his goes from about there down. So I think only having that many shoes is pretty good considering the amount of occasions you need shoes for. Still, I'm just, I'm just justifying it. But um, I bought some shoe containers. There is normally a slip, it's just there. A little white clear box that goes into it. And it's got breathability, which is really good. So that's gonna stack up where Elliot's stuff is. And I'm going to probably keep in there whatever season shoes are not currently in season. So summer stuff at the moment will probably go in there. First up, we need to move this bad boy and also take out all of Elliot's clothes. So let's get started. Okay, the rest of that in there is just my jackets and some pants. Now to get rid of the stuff up the top. Since we are on the theme of up top, I figured we might do this Marie Kondo style. Is that her name, Marie Kondo? Maria Kondo? I don't know. Um, and I'm gonna take this all off, put it on my bed so that we can assess all jumpers <laughs> because there's so many of them. <laughs> some jeans too. Good. Oops. There's a lot of clothes. <laughs> this is just the jumpers and the jeans that were on the top, which is the jeans that are like maternity and all that sort of stuff, which is just insane. Let's start off with that. So, these are maternity jeans. I always keep all of my maternity stuff because I feel like you never get enough use out of those. When you're pregnant, I mean, not in normal life. Well, I mean, to be fair, I probably wore them up to a year after I had each kid, so got my fair use out of them. Right, this jumper, I've probably worn once, let's be real. I got it from Big W in the sale once they had their winter stuff on sale last year, end of last year. It's got tassels on it. I just feel like it's not my vibe anymore. I'm not gonna lie. It's also too short in the torso for me personally. So I'm gonna sell that because it's practically brand new. This is my Fashion Nova jumper. I'm keeping that. I really like that one. I'm torn about this jumper. It's a basic black hoodie and it's really practical but I never wear it. But then it would be good to have one. But I've also got it in gray somewhere. Oh, here. I've got the same one in a gray. And I feel like I reach more for that, but this is more slimming. I don't know, this is a predicament. I think I'm gonna sell this one. I'm gonna give it a wash and then I'll sell that because it's literally had a few wears. And then I'm gonna keep the gray version from H&M actually and they're really good quality do recommend this one I'm gonna donate it's so old like I've had this for many many winters this is another black jumper it's actually got a scalloping kind of detail down the bottom I got it ages ago like probably two three years ago okay not ages ago <laughs> in the grand scheme of things but ages ago for me, and I just don't reach for it anymore. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's also got lots of those, like, little bobbly bits all over it, and I can't be bothered to shave it. Plus, like I said, I've just got so many items of clothing now, and with my job, I can't really wear stuff that people can't get their hands on when I'm filming, or, like, when I want to take posts. So, or like pictures for Instagram. So a lot of my stuff doesn't get worn because it's no longer available. And it's kind of like makeup for beauty gurus. They don't wanna share discontinued products. Same for me with clothes. So a lot of this stuff you can't get your hands on. So this is one of those pieces. I think I'm gonna donate that because of all the bobbly bits. Um, next up is this crop jumper. I always get asked about these when I wear them. I never ever ever reach for it. 
but it makes a good top for filming with in winter but I also don't need it you know like I've got so many I think I'm gonna sell that it's from Tempt yeah I think I'm gonna sell that next up is a jumper that I literally just got in a few hauls ago from Yoins and I love it but it's almost like one size too small for me it's it fits me but it's not like baggy fitted which I would prefer so I'd say it would fit like a size 12 to a 14 it's really comfortable and it's a really nice chunky knit the sleeves are so gorgeous on it and everything but I just don't see myself grabbing it like you know when you have something in your mind about a piece of clothing and then you it deters you from wearing it every time that's my deterrent for this one it's gorgeous but I just feel like it hugs my tummy too much I'm gonna sell this cardigan I've had it in my wardrobe actually not sell sorry I mean donate because it's just so old I couldn't expect someone to pay for that um, but it's like many 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 years ago from cotton on I think it was this is a Shein or Yoins or Zaffle one of the other one or the other I think it was Zaffle actually uh, and I quite like it actually it's it's just a jumper it's really I feel like I'll get one season's wear out of it and then I'll donate it it's only I'm only keeping it because of the animal print that's on it I really like it it's really soft and it kind of wears well with tights or um, bike shorts and it's quite nice and casual but yet chic so I'm gonna keep that this one I loved this jumper and I spent a bloody fortune on it it was from forever new but it's a premium yarn blend and I kept it on a hanger for a long time and now the um, shoulder on somewhere I can't remember is like thinning oh, it's here it's like thinning so you can see through the color of it and not cute and I was keeping it in hopes that I would get another wear out of it but I just every time I think of it I think of that so I never wear it so I'm gonna donate that one even though it was super expensive and I probably only got one season's wear out of it it still isn't ideal for selling I'm keeping this jumper it is just a super casual sloppy Joe it's got the cute little emblem with the cherries on it I feel like this is just the kind of jumper you just have to have you have to have one of these in your life this is another one of those tempt crops I think I'm gonna wash that and sell that one too this is my favorite well one of my favorite jumpers it's from seed I got it in DFO a few months ago maybe half a year ago now and I love it it's the softest bloody damn thing I've ever owned it's good quality it's a great color goes with everything this jumper is from St. Frock. It's actually a cardigan, sorry. And it is a so incredibly soft, like it's really fluffy. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. And the print on it is adorable, but it's almost one size, well actually it is one to two sizes too small for me. It's a medium slash large. And I was hoping it would be oversized, but it just wasn't. And so I never, ever, ever grab it to wear it. So I'm gonna sell that, but that one was really expensive. So. I don't know what I'll price that at. This is a Fashion Nova cardigan. It's just really cute. Rainbows, splatter. I never reach for it, but it's super soft and I feel like it's really cute and I really want to get a wear out of that before I sell it. This is a black crop knit. And again, I never reach for it, but I think it's because it's like in amidst, in, am in amidst, in amongst everything else so I feel like if it was out hanging up I would wear it more it just goes with everything I don't know what to do about this one this one is a just jeans jumper it's really good quality I think I'm gonna keep it this is another crop knit it's super soft it was from cotton on and I think I'm gonna keep that one I really liked that this is a jumper from orange sherbet it is their Betty basics um, I can't remember the exact name of the actual jumper but it's super comfortable and it's again black basic love it this one is a fashion nova hoodie knit again black cropped love it <laughs> i love black <laughs> this one is also cropped and it's from fashion nova and it's black it's actually ribbed and it's a different material it's extremely extremely warm i actually still have the tags on it because i wasn't sure if i was going to keep it but i am for the moment i love it haven't worn it yet but I love it <laughs> and then another jumper that is black and cropped <laughs> is this vibes jumper but again oh I don't know if I want to keep it 
Like, I've got so many. Do I need another one? Yes. This one I'm probably going to sell, I think, because it just doesn't flatter me. I have always feel like it does, and I like wearing it, but then I always look back at photos of myself with it on, and I'm like, nah, it's just not the right pattern for my body shape. This one is a pink jumper. I really like this one, actually. It's the reg reg Regatta? Regatta brand from Maya, I want to say, or David Jones, size 16. Um, I like this to tuck into jeans. Same goes for this jumper. It was the Regatta brand, size 16, and I love this one to go with just like pajama bottoms. And then another pink jumper, because I don't have enough of them, is this one, and I just don't ever reach for it. I feel like I should sell it, because honestly, I just... What's the point of it sitting up in there that I never ever use? Like, I just won't reach for it. It was like 40 or 50 bucks, and I bought it in the hopes that I'd have many, many years of wear out of it. And it's a turtleneck, it's really cute. I think I'm gonna sell it, you know? <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna sell it. Uh, but this jumper's from City Chic, it's the blush one with the fun little sleeves that was just up on my channel recently. Love that jumper, so there's no way I'm getting rid of that. Then the last item is just this seed jumper, and I've literally worn that like once, so I'm gonna keep that for the moment. This is my sell pile. My donate pile is about half that, and my keep pile is about double it. <laughs> Next up is the pants and jackets. So this is the Fashion Nova brand denim jacket. I really like it. It's actually a um quite tight, not tight, but fitted denim jacket and I do really like it so I'm keeping that one. I also have a pink denim jacket which I got from a DFO from Glassens. That one was a bargain. And then we have some pants. I think I'm going to get rid of these, sell them because I never ever ever reach for them. See I don't have a day job, <laughs> like I don't go into an office whereas I feel like these would be perfect for an office job. They're just a culotte style, they've got white dots on them. They're originally from Tempt. They're super comfortable, super flattering. I love them, but I just never ever wear them, so I'm going to sell those. They've also got them in black, which is again perfect to style with anything, but I just don't have a purpose for them. Next up, I'm going to get rid of these because I just never reach for them. I never go to wear them, and they sold like hotcakes when I was getting them, so I think I'm going to sell those. And then I'm also... Oh, do I keep these? No, I'm going to sell this too. Same version, but they're in like a checker, like a businessy pant print. Again, they're both size extra large from Cotton On, and I just know I won't reach for them. So I'm going to sell those. I also have this, which I picked up in an op shop. I've been actually quite enjoying styling this, so I'm going to keep that one. This one is like a safari kind of look from Kmart. Again, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I think I'm gonna donate it because it's a size, or two sizes too big for me. It's size 20. And it just looks silly every time I style it. It's a linen blend, um, kind of crop, but not really crop tee. And so I'm just gonna donate that because it's not really worth anything. This is a pretty little thing. Bodysuit, it's off the shoulders like that. It's perfect for pregnancy and stuff, but I just never wore it. Um, it's also perfect for just everyday wear, but again, I just never reach for it, so I think I'm gonna um, donate that. This is a fancy black um, sort of sheer top from Glassens. I really liked it. Um, I wore it a lot to work, but I don't really have any functions for it again, but I'm like, well, what if I have a serious kind of business meeting that has like a high waist or something and I want something a bit more you know, classy up top. So I've been keeping on to it, or hanging on to it. I think I'm gonna hang on to it a little bit longer. Next up is this linen uh, singlet from, what was it, You and All. Annoyingly, the slip on the inside I cut out and it looks a little silly when my arms and stuff are exposing it. I'm gonna keep it, see if I can salvage it, but I'll probably end up donating that. Then I just have some bodysuits, which are all from Fashion Nova, I think. Oh, there's this one, which is a little black singlet from Cotton On. I'm actually gonna get rid of that because it's a size too small for me and it just looks silly. And then the bodysuits are really chic and cute. I've actually got two, two of this one from Fashion Nova and they're the exact same size. They don't say the size on the tag, but I would say they would fit a size 14. I'm barely fitting into it, and I'm 
not a 14. <laughs> and then the last top that I have is just this silk satin one from You and All. And then there's this jacket, which I never wear, but it is waterproof and it is warm. And I feel like I would get, oh, it's an Oz 12. That wouldn't even do up on me. Oh, I'm gonna sell it, but it's really good quality and it's from Cotton On. <laughs> I don't wanna say goodbye to you. And then I have a couple of jackets back here that used to fit me, but no longer do. So I'm probably gonna sell those, they're Boohoo. And they're just like this gorgeous, like no or very little seam. They've got a waist belt. They're really nice, I love them. I wore them every single winter. And when I say them, that one and this one in the khaki green. So if you want them, come over to my Depop. They're just banging, banging, but they don't fit me no more. Then there is this bad boy jacket, which was from Knots and Crosses. Don't know where that brand is. There is so much more space in here now. <laughs> I've got all my hat pieces or head pieces and bags, which I might keep in one of those containers that I bought. I'm just going to keep them out there for now. Okay, this is my dungarees from City Chic. I'm keeping that. My star dungarees from Fashion Nova, I'm keeping. I'm going to keep this from Shein for a little bit. I don't know how long, but I will. Um, this is my maxi skirt from City Chic. I need to hang that on a proper skirt hanger. This was from, I want to say, Ali or Dottie. Actually, I think Dottie. And then this was um, Orange Sherbet. Keeping both of these. I really like this pattern and style of skirt. Um, love this from Orange Sherbet. My all-time favorite maxi skirt ever is this one. Another maxi skirt that I absolutely love. And this one's okay. I don't like it as much. It's from, um, you and all, I think. I'm tempted to sell it, but again, it's just so handy to throw on. It's a very mummy outfit. <laughs> this one is a really nice, cute summery dress from you and all boutique. I'm keeping that. This one's from Yoins. I also really like this one. I just moved you a bit further back so you can see the dress is a little easier. I'm going to get rid of this one from Yoins. I might sell it. I know a few of you really liked it. It's just a bit too thin for my liking um, and the back doesn't isn't consistent with the front. So yeah, if it doesn't sell, I'll just donate it. But I thought that I would give you guys the option because I know I had a few comments on it. This one was from Yunal Boutique or no, it was actually from Orange Sherbet. This one's another Orange Sherbet, St. Rock. I really like that one. It's a recent one. This one is from City Chic and I haven't yet had a chance to wear it out because we've been in isolation, but I love it. This one's another Orange Chic one. Orange Chic, Orange Sherbet, oh my god, I'm getting my brands confused. Another Orange Sherbet, love that print. This one is just a good round the house kind of getting stuff done, but I kind of want to get rid of it because I just automatically go for it. And I have these other gorgeous outfits to wear that are also very easy to put on, so I need to get rid of this. I'm doing it. Another style I really like, wore that to Darcy's second birthday. And this one is from um, Dottie. It was from the DFO and I really like it. I want to wear it on a girls night out but we haven't yet um, had the opportunity to so I'm going to keep that. This one is You and All Boutique, really like that. A Shein one, I also really like that but I don't have a purpose for it. Like when am I ever going to wear that? Should I keep it or should I sell it? You guys let me know because I'm not I'm not so sure. I really like it, but I don't know when I'd wear it. Adrift, my latest favorite dress. 
this one was also really good but I just never like think to wear it so I might get rid of it it was from Zaffle so I like it it's just not not something I'm gonna pull out often this one is a really cute wrap dress from Decuba. It's in the size 14 and I really like it, but I just never ever pull it out to wear, you know? So I probably will sell that, I think. Another Adrift dress. Another City Chic, I love that one. This is an old Kmart um, jumpsuit. I haven't washed it since Christmas day, clearly. Um, but yeah, I wore this on Christmas. And I just, oh, but I really like it. No, don't judge it. I did wear it in summer, so I'm going to keep that. However, I am going to get rid of this Kmart dress. It's been done. I've had it for like many, many years. So I'm going to donate that. Another Kmart dress. I really liked this one, so I'm going to keep it. This one is a linen dress from Betty Lane. I have literally never worn it except to shoot in it. And unfortunately, my mum tum just doesn't do this dress justice. So I'm going to be selling this. It is a really good quality one. And I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. I'm sad to see it go. But um, I know it'll go to a good home. This one was my hen's night dress. So I'm not going to get rid of that. This is another jumpsuit that I love from Orange Sherbet. I'm going to get rid of this one. This one is an oldie but a goodie. can't remember where it was from actually. Where was it? Somewhere. It's not got the tag of the actual name of the brand. I'm getting so breathless doing this. One of my original Orange Sherbet dresses, but I think I'm going to get rid of this one. It's got a stain on the front and it's just no longer cute. Another old Kmart I'm going to get rid of because I don't need it. Does not pass the vibe check. Oh, I forgot I had this one. This is another orange sherbet. Really chic, really cute. Love that style. Another orange sherbet. Can you tell that I love orange sherbet? Um, I should say that I am an ambassador for them, so I am slightly biased, but I do freaking love their stuff. And then this is a St. Frock dress that I have yet been able to wear. It's like perfect for a nice night out or a um, wedding. So I can't wait to wear that somewhere. Another one I'm going to be getting rid of is my good old faithful cotton on jumpsuit. I raved about this style on my Instagram and so many of you agreed. It was a really stunning style. I'm actually going to sell this one because it's in such good nick. I've worn it a couple of times and it is so flattering that I hope it goes to a good home. So I'm going to sell that. Another orange sherbet dress. I'm actually going to sell this one because I just don't pull it out as much as I'd like. So I just need to start culling things. It's in a size 16. It's actually never been properly worn. I think I've worn it maybe once for a little bit of time. It's a really cute dress. It's got spots and it's got pockets and it's a maxi skirt. Not maxi skirt. What's it called? Midi dress. Um, so yeah, with a stretchy back. So very chic, very cute. Love this orange sherbet dress, one of my faves. I'm also going to sell this orange sherbet dress. I again, love it, but my boobs keep popping open this once I washed it, so um, I'd probably size down. I think it's a size 16 on the tag, but I'd say if you're a size 12 to 14, this would be perfect. Also going to sell this, it was from TK Maxx. I just never reached for it. I don't see myself reaching for it. It's got this gorgeous floral print these beautiful arms and it's like a cheesecloth material but really thick and nice quality and then it's got this nice black with a um, cute little bottom. I'm gonna be selling this one because again I don't fit it anymore it's a wrap dress and it just pokes my boobs out it's a size 14 so it's definitely not my size anymore. A jumpsuit from Cotton On that I really like Another St. Brock dress that's just perfect for special occasions. And there's this gorgeous dress, which I really can't wait to wear in summer. I've just literally not had the chance to do so. It's a sea folly dress in large, so it is a little small on me, but it's it definitely works, and I'm not ready to part with that. My dress that I wore to my baby shower. I'm going to sell this dress. It's a really beautiful St. Frock, but again, I just never reach for it. Oh, I'm going to move the camera. <laughs> I never ever reach for it. It's in a size 16 and I'd actually say this is perfect for a 16 to an 18. It's a little big on me so that's why I never reach for it but it's a beautiful pattern and again barely been worn so great bargain will be had on this one. Another one that I'm going to sell is a crossroads dress. It's the same style as the last one but it's an orange. And then onto blazers. I never wear this but again it's kind of chic and cute to keep. Um, this one is from uh, Fashion Nova. I really like that one too. It's got tags on it still. 
I've just literally never ever worn it yet. Then there is my Kmart blazer, which I love, never have worn either. <laughs> then there's this jacket, which was an old faithful, but I'm going to donate that. And then last but not least is this really gorgeous um, lace thingamabobby robe. I can't even think of it. I've never worn it. It was from, I want to say Shein or somewhere like that. But yeah, again, I think I'm going to sell it because I just... When will I wear it? I won't. Bizarre, we have space. <laughs> this is insane. I've never had so much space. I've cleared out so much. Are you guys so proud of me? I feel like I have so much space now. Look at this. What is my life? And the floor's ready to have a vacuum and then pop in the shoe racks. So I have just added the shoe racks in, so it now looks like that. And then I can just hang t-shirts above there once all of them are taken up. Oh, it's getting hot in here and dusty. <laughs> that is all done. I'm not sure if I'm happy with the placement of this, but I know that opening the drawer here would be really annoying. So, this is going to stay like that. And then I'm going to put these plastic tubs, those, once it's all done, in up here. Once I've folded them and cleaned them and all the rest of it. Okay guys, I'm done. Holy crap. Like I just showed Elliot and he was like, do you still have anything left? And I was like, yeah, that's the sad part. Like I have so much left, like it's ridiculous. Where was this all hiding? And there's still stuff down in my study that I need to put away from recent collabs. Like what? What is this? Like I'm so incredibly grateful, but oh my gosh, I don't need this much. <laughs> so I've got three, and a half bags to donate and then I've got one two three big tubs to sell so <laughs> please come over I only sell stuff that is in good condition um, or like with tags never worn um, so come over I always have it reasonably priced it supports me too um, because I don't need all this clothing like I just don't and it's such a waste because I never sometimes get to wear the pieces so yeah, come over if it's your size um, and it's a style you like, then DM me. Yeah, let me know and I will see you guys very soon for another haul video or shop with me or whatever style video on this channel in the very near future. Bye guys!